Today we will cover grids in website UI design and the website grids are consisting of two things. First one is the pixel grid and second one is the column grid. And if you don't know about pixel grid, go watch the last video link is in the description. In that I have covered in detail how to use pixel grid system and how they work. So go watch that first. Otherwise you will not be able to understand few things. But if you already know about pixel grid system like the four pixel grid or the eight pixel grid system, we can start the video. And when we are designing for website, we design the same screen in three different versions. First one is for PC, second one is for the tablet and third one is for the mobile. Imagine if you are designing the home page of a website, then you will design the same page for the laptop version or the PC version, the same page for the tablet and the same page for the mobile screen. The majority of the design will be same in all three versions. The thing that will change is either the layout or the size and spacing of the whole design. Now when we are talking about column grids, column grids is a little bit different from pixel grids. So what we do in pixel grid, in pixel grid we design every single element like perfectly aligned to the grid. If you are using a four pixel grid system, you, you cannot use use any other spacings or sizing that is not in the multiple of four like if you want to give the space minimum spacing will be four pixels and the next spacing will be eight pixels similarly 12 pixels 16 pixels but column grid is a little different now in the column width there are actually 12 different columns for the pc version and we design the whole website with the help of this thing and, and there are some basic properties of the column like gutter is the space between two grids you can see that the space between two grids is 24 pixels between these two grids then we have the column width now now there are two types of grid in first one the column width is fixed and in the second one the column width can be changed according to the screen size so that when you will change the browsers width, the column width will also change we call that stretchable grid the first one was fixed width grids then we have the margin now margin is the empty space on the left and the right we call the left space the left margin and the right space the right margin like the empty space we have from the screen like you see this space here this is called the left margin and the right margin okay and we have 12 grids for the pc version and 8 grids for the tablet version and 4 grids for the mobile version let me show you a live example but if you just look at this website, uh, let me turn on the stroke so that you can see the design properly. If you look closely, like if you just look at this card, it's perfectly aligned to the column grid. You can see that it's starting from the third grid and it's ending on the 12th grid. Now this card is using 10 column grids in total. And as I said earlier, column grids are a bit different from pixel grid. In pixel grid, we align everything to the pixel grid. You cannot move one pixel in or out. You have to stick to the pixel grid, but that's not the same case for the column grid. In this, we use the column grids as a reference point for the parent element. If you just look at this card, the parent card, like the parent container is perfectly aligned to the grid. So it's on the grid properly. Here we have the external stroke. And if you just go to right side, it's perfectly aligned. But the child element is not following the column grid. You can see that the share button is not properly aligned. Similarly, the download button, it's not properly aligned. It had some spacing from the left or the right. As similarly goes with the heading here, it's not perfectly aligned with the grid. Because in column grids, we only follow column grids for the parent container. Similar thing happens with this filter option. Like if you just look at this filter option, it's occupying two column grid space, but the child element are not following the column grid system. It's not possible. Like if I try to move it here, place it here, then it will not work. Or if I try to move it here on the other column, it will not work. So we use column grids only for the parent element. In the child element, we use pixel grid. Like if we just look at the spacing of this text, from left is 24 pixels from top is 8 pixels and from right again it's 24 pixels similarly goes with this checkbox you can see the width and height of the checkbox is 24 by 24 pixels similarly goes with the height of the container if you just look at it, it's 50 fixed pixels similarly with the con container it's 532 pixels following a pixel grid system similar thing happens in the navbar if you just select all the element like these three elements are inside a container and that and that container is following the column grid the container is starting from the third grid and ending on the 12th grid but the child elements are not following the column grid if you just look at it the filter is ending somewhere around the fourth column and it's starting somewhere in between the fourth column and search bar is starting before the sixth or seventh column we have so child elements don't follow the column grid i hope you got the idea we only use the column grid as a reference point and one more important thing we always design from the start of the column grid like you cannot you cannot place this card here like you cannot start this card from here you always have to start the card from the starting of the column like you have to start the card from here and end the card like you cannot end the card here like on the gutter or the spacing between two grids you cannot end the card here you have to stick to the starting and end point of a grid 
okay i hope you got the idea and if you just look at the tablet version in this we are using eight grids and again we are aligning everything to the grids we are using that thing as a reference point only the parent container are following the column grid. if you just select this like this filters option the parent container is actually following the column grids from left the spacing is 32 pixels from right the spacing is 32 pixels and from top it's 16 pixels and from bottom is 16 pixels so the every element is following the pixel grid and the parent elements are following only the column grids similar thing happens with the mobile version if you just look at the top part it's starting and ending on the column grid but the child elements are not following the column grid they are following a pixel grid its size is 100 by 32 so it's following a pixel grid similar thing happens with the search bar the search bar icon is not following the column grid is following the pixel grid is a similar thing happens here i hope you got the idea what i'm trying to say and these grids are not actually present on the design these are just overlays added by figma you can turn them on and off by shift g and i will show you in a minute how to add these grids to your design and how to adjust their properties now we have mainly two type of grids like i told you in the beginning of the video we have two type of grids first one is the stretchable grid and second one is the fixed width grid in stretchable width grid when the screen size changes a little bit the column width also changes and in the fixed width the column width remains means the same if i show you a live example if you just look at behance they are following a 12 column grid perfectly if you just look at it they are using three columns to show one card again we have three column to show one card again we have three column to show one card okay let me show you the live example but when i will change the screen size like the card size will also change that means the column width is actually changing but if you take the example of twitter nothing will happen here if when i will resize it nothing will happen you can see that that's because they are using a fixed width column grid the element size don't change when you change the screen size and you can also use these two column grids in combination like unsplash has done it up to a point nothing will change you can see that the photo size is not changing like if i just keep resizing it and after a point when the empty space in the left and right is completely used or there is no empty space then the photo size will change all the column grid size will change you can see that the photos are shrinking so you can use these column grids in combination according to your requirement and you will get a clear idea when you will observe this pattern in different website just open your favorite website and try to resize it and try to identify what type of grid they are using just import the screenshot in figma and try to add column grids to it adjust the width and size of that let me show you how to do it simply scroll down a bit and take the screenshot wait a minute yeah take the screenshot and the screen size we use for desktop design is actually 440 pixels the height is variable obviously you cannot fix the height and we also have a preset for that you can simply click on that and it will draw a frame and these preset options will only be visible once you press f1 keyboard you can see the frame tool is actually selected and you can also change the size after drawing the frame we just select the frame and go to this option like frame then choose this desktop option okay if you have drawn a random frame you can always change it now i will paste my screenshot here first of all i will resize it by holding down alt and shift so that it will resize proportionally then i will fix the width and uh, here we have the scroll wall so i will crop it i will hold down control for that or command in mac and i will crop it properly okay now i will resize it by holding shift and i will align it top and i will also crop it from the top so simply hold down control and crop it and I will align it to top. Mm, wait a minute. Yeah. Make sure that the width is 1440. If it's not, you simply have to resize it by holding down shift. Okay. We have added. Now we will click on the frame. Simply go to this layout grid option. Simply click on plus. Then go to this option here. Then by default, it chooses a pixel grid. You have to click here and choose the column grid. And if you just click on the type category, like we have four categories here, like left. Uh, right it's showing that the, where the grid will start if, if it's starting on the left then it will stick to the left and you have to specify the width of the column well, if i just change the size by holding down alt or option key and then i drag it or i can manually type it here like 88 then the grid will start from the right and if you choose left then the grid will start from the left but we want center because the whole design is in center and we majority of the time uses these two options like the center and the stretch one for our design and i will choose stretch option in this because we really don't know what was the grid size so we will try to manipulate the margin from left and right so i will try changing the margin by holding down alt or option key or you can manually type it here but i will prefer you to first drag and then change so that you get a better idea now we once aligned the grid properly although you cannot align it perfectly like you can see that there is a half pixel gap that's because it's a screenshot you don't have the actual design but it will give you a pretty good idea like you can see that they are aligning one image on four columns and when we resize the website after a point the column grid changes like you can see here 
like after a point like after this point the photo size will change or the column grid size is changing so they are using both versions of column grid in combination and to understand it better i have drawn something for you like if i just take the screen this is a fixed width grid example like if you just imagine this is the navbar content like we have all the icons logo and sign up button here and this is the content of the website so when you will change the screen size like nothing will happen the grid size will remain same but if you take the example of behance or the stretchable grid system when you resize it the content will stretch according to the grid seed we are using you can see that the navbar container is also changing and the, all the cards are expanding according to the needs so that's how we use column grids in website design to improve our design layout and when it comes to the size of the column grid there is no fixed size it's not practically possible like so many blogs suggest that you should use 88 pixels column width or 50 pixels column width it's practically not possible because every website and project's requirements are different so make sure that you choose the column size according to your requirements and and whenever you're choosing a column width or if you're using stretchable grids in that case you will specify the margins the column width or the margin should always follow the pixel grid system if you're using a 8 pixel grid system then the left right margin can be 8 pixels or 16 pixels or 24 pixels similarly if you're using a 10 pixel grid system then the left right margin can be 10 pixels 20 pixels and same goes with the column width if you're using a 8 pixel grid system try 48 pixels 56 pixels 88 pixels just experiment with those numbers and pick the number which suits your design and project requirements because every website is different you cannot use the same number or same spacing and gutter width for all your projects and now let me show you how to actually create these two grids if i just draw a new frame like choose this desktop preset option simply click it to create a new frame simply go to layout grid and change it to column grid now type 12 here like when you will choose the center grid you can see that the we have a width option and the offset option the, the margin option is gone because we cannot control the margin we are controlling the width if i type 88 here and the gut so and the gutter width of 16 pixels wait a minute yeah if i resize it now the column grid width will not change if i copy it and change it to stretch like choose stretch then we have to specify the margin like i'm i want a margin of 56 pixels from left and right and i want a gutter of 16 pixels then if i resize it the column width will change according to the screen size now what you have to do is you have to open your favorite website import that screenshot and try to figure out what grids they are using that way you will be able to understand it better and in a practical way and when you will start designing your project make sure that every parent element is perfectly aligned to the grid that like in behance they have the behance logo aligned to the left properly and then we have the add story button then we have the heading we have this icon or the tab it's perfectly aligned to the left of the grid similar thing is happening on the right side if you just look at the adobe logo then this card although the story section is overflowing it's scrollable so you cannot fix the alignment of that thing but you can fix the alignment in the starting of the story section so always align your content whenever it is possible and if you still have any doubt you can ask in comments i will reply as soon as possible and this was for this video see you in future bye